Open, stay tuned to find out. There's a new Miss Universe this morning, but she's not the one originally announced. No. Nope. Stay tuned for details. Will the school stay open? Stay tuned to find out. Ten years later, the force awakens for a new experience for fans across the galaxy. Live from the Channel 99 studios in the Hazleton Area Career Center, it's the area's only student-produced news show. This is Channel 99 News. Welcome to Channel 99 BCTV, your only student-produced news station in the Hazleton Area School District. My name is Tyler Vyshinsky. And my name is Elena Epiletti. So Tyler, are you looking forward to your Christmas holiday? Oh yeah, I'm very excited to spend the time with my family and eat some food. Doing some, some traveling? Yeah, do some traveling, you know, go to Iowa. Wow, that sounds fun. Yeah, it is going to be. Okay, let's go to your news stories. Hazleton Area School Board voted yesterday to access a, lot, a line of credit of $10 million to make sure the school doors stay open through February District Business Manager. Tony Riba negotiated with local banks to obtain the best interest rate and settled with FNC Bank. Hoverboards are a hot holiday item this year, but they may just be a little too hot. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission is investigating in at least 10 reports of hoverboard fires in 10 states. The investigation includes testing the hoverboards as well as those involved in the accident. Because of the news of the federal probe, Amazon has halted all sales of almost every model and brand of hoverboard listed on its website. There have been reports of certain models that can burst into flames as a result of faulty batteries and plugs. Overstock.com took down all hoverboard products listing last week as a precautionary measure. As part of its announcement, Overstock offered customers the option to return self-balancing scooters for a full refund. Many major airlines have also been concerned about the safety of the gadgets and banned them from flights last week. If you're still looking for one of these balancing scooters, eBay, Walmart, and Toys R Us have, are still selling these certain models. At least 61 people are missing after a landslide sh struck the southern Chinese city of Shenzhen on Sunday. Chinese officials say dozens of buildings in an, in, in an industrial park were totaled by a cascade of mud and debris. The slide was caused by a pile of construction waste and rescue grew to... That steep, steep it collapsed 
hundreds of emergency response personnel are carrying out rescue efforts searching the debris for survivors. So far, at least it's 15 people are hospitalized. There's a new Miss Universe this morning, and it's not the one originally announced. The pageant's host, Steve Harvey, wound up crowning the wrong winner and then had to give a shocking and awkward apology. Channel 99, Stephanie Godman reports. Columbia! For a brief moment Sunday night, Miss Columbia celebrated being crowned Miss Universe, but her reign lasted only a few minutes. I have to apologize. The first runner-up is Columbia. Miss Universe 2015 is Philippines. Miss Universe 2015 host Steve Harvey misreading his cue cards and naming the wrong contestant as the winner. The two women awkwardly standing at the end of the stage paralyzed by the snafu. Harvey addressing a confused audience. This is exactly what's on the card. I will take responsibility for this. It was my mistake. It was on the card. Miss Columbia being stripped of her crown, stunned viewers watching as Miss Universe 2014 placed it on the head of the winner, Miss Philippines. The show abruptly cutting into credits, some of the other judges taking to social media. Judge Nacy Nash tweeting this oh video. My, oh my Harvey himself tweeting after the show saying, I'd like to apologize wholeheartedly to Miss Columbia and Miss Philippines for my huge mistake. I feel terrible. Even posting a picture with Miss Philippines backstage saying he was able to apologize to her and Miss Columbia personally, who tearfully also spoke out after the show. Everything happens for a reason, so I'm happy. But the newly crowned Miss Universe summing up the shocking turn of events. It, it's a very... um. Uh, non-traditional crowning moment, yes. isn't it? Yes. It's very, very oh 2015. <laughs> it's the holidays, which the is a great time for movie releases. Star Wars, the in which they apologize to Miss Columbia and Miss Philippines as they, as well as their fans. It's said in part, unfortunately, a live telecast means that there can be human error can come into play and witness that night it was the wrong winner intentionally announced. The Hazleton Area Career Center got far into the Christmas spirit. Over the course of the last two weeks, the doors have been unraveling and today is the final judging day. Students and teachers hurried to get their last minute adjustments made. Winners have yet to be announced, but you will know when we do. The all-new release of the all-time favorite of mine is coming back into action. Here's Channel 99's Taylor Dillon reports. It's the holidays, which is a great time for movie releases. Star Wars The Force Awakens was released everywhere today, December 18th, 2015, only a week before Christmas. I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. Um, obviously, I don't know who wouldn't be if you are a fan of Star Wars. I don't know why you wouldn't be excited for this opening because, one, it's been like forever since they made one. I'm more of a casual fan, but yes, I'm excited and I will be going to see it. I was a little nervous about what Disney would do to the Star Wars um, franchise, but when I heard that J.J. Abrams was going to be directing it, I got super excited because he's fantastic director and probably one of my favorite directors. You have these actors like Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher and Mark Hamill and people who are, you know, obviously uh, just wonderful and, and established in, in, this, in this iconic way. And then you've got these absolute unknowns who are stepping in and it wasn't clear what that al alchemy would result in. And what was so lucky was to a person they were supportive of each other. There was no weird resentment or kind of trying to edge out someone. They were all there to kind of r raise each other up, and that was sort of a beautiful thing to watch. Reporting from the Hazleton Area Career Center for Channel 99 News, I am Taylor Dillon, and may the force be with you. When we get back from this commercial break, we'll have our very own sports team with the end of the year review.
Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Having trouble finding Connor's middle school? Would you like directions? No, why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No, I'm, I'm tired of fighting with him over homework. Home walk restaurant, need a review? No, I need help. He's very smart, but his mind it wanders. He's disorganized. I think I understand. Oh, good. French fries, finding best potatoes. No! Russet, fingerling, you can't go. <sighs> Why don't you understand me? Sorry, I was trying to show how Connor feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. For the one in five kids with learning and attention issues, this is what life can feel like. ExploreUnderstood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues designed to help your child thrive in school and in life. Understood.org, because understanding is everything. fouls are pretty dumb but if you decide to drink and drive underage you could lose your license and your freedom underage drinking and driving the ultimate party foul Hi everyone, welcome back to Channel 99 News Sports. We're doing something a little different today since it's the end of the year, or last show of the year for 2015. So we're gonna do a year in review, right Joe? Right. Okay, so let's get into our first story. So Joe, what do you think was the first big story of the year? Well, to me, it would have to be the Slate game. I agree with you, Joe. Nobody knew what a football really was until the scandal came, so. It's really not that shocking to see what Tom Brady, and then he, Wins his appeal, it's even more shocking. The uh, next story I think is big is the uh, Super Bowl, um, when they made that, uh, when Pete Carroll made that huge mistake. It's the, uh, you know, Jamron Curse makes that unbelievable catch on his back. You know, everybody says, what a grab, it's probably one of the best grabs in Super Bowl history. And then they all say, and the Patriots fans are like, oh boy, here comes the Giants games all over again. Well, then Russell Wilson, and Pete Carroll makes the stupidest decision in Super Bowl history, you should agree, I hope you agree with this, that he throws the ball on the one yard line and Malcolm Butler picks it off, which gives Brady another ring when he had Marshawn Lynch running, could have ran it on the one yard line. So Seattle fans, sorry, you guys messed up that back to back championships. So Joe, what do you think's the next story in the middle of the year to you? To me, it would have to be Golden State winning their first NBA title in 50 years. I agree with you, Joe. Nobody expected the Warriors to tear it up like they did. I got to give LeBron James credit, though, for what he did. You know, LeBron did amazing. He carried the Cavs on his back when they were completely deflated. So, and he did something that Jordan only done before he did, which is lead the finals for his team in points, rebounds, and assists. So, that's even more unbelievable. So shout out to the Golden State Warriors, congrats to them, and Steve Kerr, fourth ring, huh? Um, the next story I wanna talk about is American Pharaoh winning the Triple Crown. First uh, Triple Crown winner in 36 years, Joe, this year. How was that? That was one heck of a race that nobody in the country would ever forget. I agree with you, Joe. The horse racing hadn't had a star like uh, American Pharaoh since Secretariat back in the 70s. So it's great to see. And here's a fun fact for you guys. Did you know that Victor Espinoza had two other attempts to win the Triple Crown before he won this with American Pharaoh? He had it with California Chrome the year before and War Emblem in 2003. Plus, he's the first Mexican jockey to win the Triple Crown and the first and the oldest Triple Crown winner ever. And the trainer, Bob Baffett, wins the Triple Crown in his fourth attempt. And a shout out to the famous NBC Sports announcer, for the first time in 36 years, horse racing has a Triple Crown winner in American Pharaoh. Now, Joe, what's the first big story of the end of the year to you? To me, it would have to be Golden State's 
undefeated streak. I agree with you, Joe. It's a big shocker. Nobody expected Golden State. They had the best start in the professional four sports in history to start a season. 24-0 and 0 until they ran into the Milwaukee Bucks. And the Bucs ended the longest streak in NBA history was the Los Angeles Lakers in 1970-71 to 71 in the Bucs' own building. And then they did it again to the Warriors. So the Bucs had the jurisdiction of saying, we ended the two longest streaks in NBA history. Now, Jeff, the, lo my la the last story of the year, which I thought was big, was the Michigan-Michigan State punt block, which got Michigan State into the playoff. No, that was... One blog said, no fans would ever forget. I agree with you, Joe. John Harbaugh was an absolute shocker. He could have took a knee, ran the ball, but he decided to punt it. And boy, oh boy, he probably regrets it to today. Well, that's all. I will see you. Me and Joe will see you all soon. And Joe, you have anything to say to the viewers? Folks, have a very Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy, and safe New Year's. We will see you guys in the new year on Channel 99 Sports. Thank you for tuning in. See you guys. Hi, happy holidays from Mr. Davenport's English class here at the Hazelton Area Career Center and uh, from these geniuses. Yeah. Happy holidays! Yeah. Happy holidays! From live sportsmen! This is Mrs. Kistelins' English class and we want to wish you a Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! From our geometry class to all of you, we'd like to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas! Christmas. This segment is special because Christmas is coming up. Hope all you boys and girls have been good this year and now you're getting some great cold. But anyway, I'm your host, Mark Simmer, here with the upcoming game releases. We only got two games coming up. One of them is How to Pull Boyfriend Holiday Star. I talked about this last week, but this time it's coming out for a different system. But I'll explain what it is quick. Uh, the lovable birds of How to Pull Boyfriends are back in the remastered holiday. Theme sequel How to Pull Boyfriend Holiday Star. Shout out to the fantastically styled world, eating interesting new chickadees, and fine romance in the elegantly designed winter wonderlands. Coming up for the PS4 and Vita on December 22nd. And we got the Legends of Heroes Trails of the Cold Steel. This is a brand new game in the new Legend of Heroes series that is a traditional JRPG originally released in Japan by Nihon Falcon, coming out for the PS3 and Vita on December 22nd. So that's all the game releases coming out this week. Hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Your host here, Mark Sangrima, logging off. Welcome.
to this special holiday edition of Cinema Spotlight. A huge part of a movie is always the story, so check out a Christmas story this holiday season. A little kid, Ralphie, has a specific but very simple Christmas wish, a Red Ryder BB gun. When he's not thinking about the BB gun, he's running from his bully, his dad's a grumpy mess, and his mother's a little too endearing, but he manages to make it to Christmas. How the Grinch Stole Christmas is a classic Dr. Seuss tale, and you can even watch it in live action, as directed by Ron Howard and starring Jim Carrey. It's the classic tale of how the bitter green Grinch stole Christmas, but then saved it after a change of heart. The live action version, though, goes into some more backstory and detail when it comes to the Grinch's life. Now travel back just a few Christmases before this one to the year 1946, when It's a Wonderful Life was released, originally a huge box office flop. The film centers George Bailey throughout his life as, is ex as it's explained to Clarence, an angel who just wants his wings. Bailey finds love in his life, but his heart for others and his family unfortunately gets in the way of his desire to travel the world. He feels he's better off dead and wishes he's never been born. He gets the chance to see how the absence of his own life would have affected those he was close to, however, and he realizes he just wants his own family and his own life back. Plus, spoilers, Clarence does get his wings. Until next time. Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, George! Merry Christmas, George! Merry Christmas, movie house! Merry Christmas, Emporium! Merry Christmas, you wonderful old Billy and Lone! So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Hi, my name is Gabriella Laura here with your Channel 99 Weather News. Today will be 40 degrees with a high of 43 and a low of 39. The sunrise was at 7.25 a.m. and the sunset will be at 4.38 p.m. Don't forget to send us a weather picture at channel99 at hasdk12.org. This week will be full of high and low weather conditions which will make it even better to enjoy although there will be sadly no snow this Christmas. There will be some cold weather for those people who love rocking those luscious furry coats and warm weather for those who just love to rock heels and don't like to freeze their funny looking feet. Well, to start off, tomorrow there is going to be some rain mixed with clouds and winds varying from 10 to 20 miles per hour. Wednesday there will be a high of 59 degrees and a low of 58 degrees, and Thursday there will be a high of 65 degrees and a low of 49 degrees, having rain both days. The lowest temperature will be ranging from 40 degrees to the highest temperature, which will be on Thursday at 65 degrees. Hard to believe it's winter, right guys? And finally, Friday will be 54 degrees with a low of 43 degrees. Finally, the sunrise changed, which will be at 7.26 a.m., and the sunset will be at 4.41 p.m. Well, this is great weather going on. Hopefully, you'll get your Christmas shopping done right and ready to have some fun, but not too much fun. Have a wonderful holiday, guys. Here's another look at your seven-day forecast. Hello, and welcome back to 60 Second Saturday with Tyler Bershaw. Hello, everyone, and welcome.
welcome back to 60 Second Serenade. This is your Christmas special of your 60 Second Serenade. So let's get started. All right, so a big part about Christmas is, you know, the presents. So let's go back to the Stone Age now. Do you know back then, a present, like in the Stone Age cavemen, you know what they gave each other? Rocks. Like just big rocks as presents. I mean, I guess that was cool for their time. And now, everybody knows Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer, right? Well, did you know his name was actually supposed to be Cliff? The writer of the song decided Cliff was too boring and generic to use. So he thought of Rudolph and Red Reindeer and Root Red and all that. So, you know, alliteration, you know. Christmas, alliteration, cute song. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, having your shiny nose. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Christmas special, and I'll see you all next time. All right, guys, well, that's it for our holiday special here on Channel 99. We hope you all have a great happy holidays and Merry Christmas and a lovely New Year. This is all of us from here, Channel 99, signing off. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas, everybody.